I live in a country where millions of people believe that it's God who makes people rich. While I believe in God and his providence to give and protect, I also believe that if humans don't discover how to grow crops, we'll have been nomadic as our ancestors. And even after we've discovered how to grow crops, we still have to discover the laws of planting and harvesting so we can get the best out of our land. It's God that plants corn for us. So if we fold our hands and say, it's God who makes people rich, that's like saying, it's God who planted the rice I'm eating. Humans have huge responsibilities about their destinies and those who don't want to take such responsibilities simply go hungry and frustrated in life. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the three F's that will make you rich. And for many people who have been curious to know who is behind this great channel, since we were at 10,000 subscribers, now that we're close to a million subs, I'm willing to allow you into my world. Simply look at the description box and you can subscribe to my personal channel and get to know me better. Now, let's get into this video. 1. Faith in Self When Biblical Goliath challenged the Israelites, the Bible says everyone, including the king who ought to be a warrior, was afraid except a 17-year-old boy. I really don't want to believe that in all of Israel, nobody had faith in God. Instead, I believe that most people who have faith in God don't have faith in themselves. David said, I'll go after this idiot and kill him because I've killed lions and bears before. That boy believed in himself. He referred to his past accomplishments as evidence that he could actually kill the strongest man in the world. Poverty is like Goliath. Faith in God is important, but it's not enough. I know so many people who believe in God and they are poor. Why are they poor? They don't believe in themselves. As a young boy, I always believed that I was going to be rich. Such faith in your ability makes you think differently from other people. When you believe in your ability to create wealth, you'll not only see the world differently, you'll approach the world differently. Norman Vincent Pale said, Believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Without humble, reasonable confidence in your own powers, you cannot be successful or happy. Growing up, I used to think that nothing under the sun could stop me from acquiring legitimate wealth. Whenever I see other people complaining about a million things that were wrong with my country, Nigeria, I simply told myself, nothing can stop me. Whenever I saw people running away from my continent, Africa, in search of money, I simply told myself, I will be rich in my country and nothing will stop that. Whenever I see people complaining about the government, the employers or the economy, I simply told myself, nothing under the sun is strong enough to make me poor. Yes, you'll not always believe this. There will be a time of great trial. In fact, I sometimes felt that I was ignorantly arrogant and I feared I might be fooling myself. But such a time of doubt usually doesn't last. So, someone will ask me, what is the magic? Why would believing in yourself change your life? You see, people who have faith in themselves try things, and when they fail, people who have faith in themselves simply go back and try again. People who have faith in themselves are curious. They look for knowledge and become restless looking for what they believe they deserve. And if you think about it, nobody is ever going to continue searching for what they don't believe exists. Most people believe that wealth is for the few fortunate ones, those who were born by the rich or those who are lucky. If you don't believe that you have what it takes to be rich, you simply won't search enough nor try hard enough to look for wealth. 2. Frugality Yesterday, I was discussing with one of my friends when I said, why would any human being need another person to tell them that you shouldn't buy what you don't have money for? For me, it should be a punishable offense that any human buys a car with the money he doesn't have. Because the modern world is filled with senseless glutons who assume they deserve everything life has to offer. People buy things for the money they either don't have or the money they ought to invest. Listen. You don't deserve anything if you don't have your money to buy it. And even those things you have money to buy, you'll have a better future if you discipline yourself 
to not have everything your eyes desire. I live on about 10% of my income. I could have lived on 30 to 50% of my income. And every financial educator will still clap for the man who invests 50% of his income. But no, I streamlined my life. Live in a simple neighborhood with cheap rent, drive a simple car, eat well because of the health of my family, but rarely ever eat luxurious foods at restaurants or expensive wine. If you think having everything your eyes want is the way to be happy, your happiness is on the run and you will never meet it. Forget what society says. It's not a must. It is not mandatory to use the latest phones. You don't need to live in a big house. You don't need to drive the car everyone in your company drives. Focus on investments. Invest in yourself. Buy books. Attend business seminars. Save a percentage of your income. Let your happiness come from the fact that you're doing what is worthwhile with your time and life, not from the new Rolex watch. 3. Financial Education Whenever I meet broke people, the first question I love to ask is how many books have you read about money in the last one year? Oftentimes, most people's answers are predictable. People don't have the hunger to learn how money works. I blame society and school for this because people grow up being deceived that mathematics, biology and language are the most important subjects to study. But that's not true. Money is by far the most important subject to study. You have to understand how money works, how people get a lot of it, nurture it and grow it. I started teaching my daughter about money when she was 18 months old by getting her to save money in a piggy bank because I don't know what other thing is as important in our physical world as money. Yes, nobody needs a million dollars to be happy, but no one is happy without money either. So you have to be humble enough to understand that money, like every other subject in life, requires that you sit down and read, learn and study about it. For thousands of people who have been wondering who the owner of this channel is since the time we had 10,000 subscribers, now that we have about a million subs, I'm willing to reveal myself to you and even share some exciting journey with you via my personal channel. So, look at the description box to join my world, know who I am and learn from me. We love you.